Is that is that good enough though? Good like, enough just to get in, or yeah, like if like is everybody happy with that? I know everybody will be happy that the team is in the the, the post yeah. season, the the the, the playing or whatever. But you know, the the, the thirty one wins equates to thirty five over an eighty two game season. We think there's going to be an eighty two game season this year. So if they finish with thirty seven wins or thirty eight wins, are we hype? I mean, if it if it leads you into the playoffs, I, I'm I'm not going to sit here and be hype. But now this is what people do: you put the numbers there, you say if they win this many games, how are they getting to that many games? Are we seeing crap basketball along the way? Are we seeing drama along the way? Or are we seeing something that they can actually build on top of and that is sustainable for a better future in Sacramento? This culture shift. If we see all those things plus that number. I, I don't think you could be mad about that. Yeah, I, I mean, it's also just understanding like, yeah, we, we've we seen growth and they got into the play-in. Now, how do you build on that? You, you can't be satisfied like, hey, we got in, the streak's over, now we can all kick mm-hmm. back and just let it play out. It's like, no, like the big swings still have to be talked about. Mm-hmm. You know, you still have to be looking for opportunities to get another star in here because that's the other reality. Look around the league at the really, really good teams. You need dudes. And how many of those do the Kings have right now? We know Fox is a guy. And I think he is likely going to be an all-star in this league. Who's the other guy? And you you can make a case for Halliburton. Okay, but he's not that yet. Mm -hmm. Is Davey on that? I mean, those are like the three candidates at this point. So the great teams have many guys. You look at the Bucs. I mean, Giannis, Middleton. Holiday, the Kings don't have that yet. So until you get that, you're not going to be in the upper echelon. You're not going to be a team that is consistently, you know, a top four seed in the West. So, yeah, the, yeah no matter what happens this year, I, I, I mean, I'd be shocked if all of a sudden they're, like, you know, 60 this year. But whatever happens, like they, they have to be honest with themselves and be like, okay, now we got to keep aiming for that big swing.